CFD Applications in the Mining Industry, a short video by Dr. Kevin Linfield. This video is brought to you by Airflow Sciences Corporation for all your flow modeling and testing needs since 1975. Extracting ore or minerals from the ground has become a complex procedure. Gone are the days of simply picking up gold nuggets in a stream. Different techniques are used for surface mines compared to those underground. The mining process, from extraction to a final sellable product, touches upon transportation and processing, which may include smelting, crushing, mixing, and refining. Mines often include their own power plant or boiler, and these facilities often feature pollution control equipment such as ESPs, bag houses, and scrubbers. With many of these steps, computation of fluid dynamics, or CFD modeling, plays an active role in process optimization. Computer simulations of external flow fields help determine localized effects of the wind. High winds cause particles from operations or tailings to be dispersed in unwanted areas. Some external flow modeling may include areas of many square miles, as illustrated in the image to the right. The force of the wind may cause structural damage in and around buildings or equipment, as shown in the model in the left. Air quality dispersion modeling tracks gases and particulates emanating from stacks and vents. Plume behavior depends on many environmental variables such as temperature, wind speed, and wind direction. Ensuring that the stack discharges avoid any air intakes is often part of a plume study analysis, as well as tracking combustible or toxic discharges. With diesel-powered mining equipment, the venting of exhaust is often analyzed with CFD modeling. Ore is often transported long distances on conveyors and through transfer chutes. Modeling provides information to minimize dust and maximize employee safety. Excessive dust can cause respiratory problems and certain particulates such as coal can form an explosive mixture in air. Rail cars take the ore from the mine to a port for transportation overseas or to another facility for processing. Trains many miles long bring coal to power plants to provide electrical power for millions of people. Reducing the drag of empty ore cars can provide significant fuel savings. Providing consistent flow to each branch of a duct network will help ensure proper heating, cooling, or combustion air supply. Duct balancing can be performed with handbook calculations or computer flow modeling. Electrostatic precipitators remove particulate from a gas stream. Whether for pollution control from coal combustion or the gathering of materials such as soda ash, ensuring a uniform flow through the collection region can maximize the amount of particulate captured. Modeling can help ensure that the ESP meets the Institute for Clean Air Company's EP7 guidelines for optimum performance. Fabric filters, often called bag houses, are often used to collect particulate. In order to help ensure a particle capture rate of over 99%, it's best to perform flow modeling to ensure that the bag house meets the ICAC F7 guidelines. In addition to the fabric filters in ESP, Mechanical separators and dropout boxes remove particulate from a gas stream. Computer modeling of the flow can help maximize capture efficiency. The previous slides help show how flow modeling can be used in the mining industry, from the first stage of drilling and blasting to delivery of the final product. CFD flow modeling can help reduce cost, improve performance, and increase throughput. For more information on CFD modeling for the mining industry, please visit www.airflowsciences.com. Thank you, and have a wonderful day.